why you don't feel interested in video games anymore? Like me? I This is currently like my last few weeks of school holiday and yeah, and of course I have a little bit more free time and I tried to go back to playing some video games. And yeah, like I tried a few days and I honestly couldn't really do it. Like I got bored trying to play the video games. I can't even bring myself to actually play them for longer than a few hours. I think that is one main reason why and I think most of you guys should know why as well. It's basically because of social media and yeah, it just fucks up your dopamine system like like you know back in the days like back in my days where we had just you know the, our only entertainment is basically either our you know our game boy or like television and of course television back in the day they aren't like much they are not as interesting as the video game itself like back then maybe the best you can get is some like pokemon or digimon stuff but then back then, it was just your Game Boy and a TV. And there's no such thing as like what? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. There's none of these like social media back then. So of course, it's easier to really dive into video games last time because that was probably our only source of entertainment for a very long time. And then now, 2022, you have your... There is There has been an increase in like short videos that is extremely curated to really grab your attention for like 10 to maybe 30 seconds and i find that it's it's been quite unhealthy to really consume these like youtube shorts or like tiktok and consume these sort of short and extremely packed with dopamine content which really fucks up like that's probably why we can't play video games for longer periods of time that's why we can't do work for longer periods of time because our lizard brain is you know we are accustomed to watch these high these short and high bursts of dopamine videos it just fucks up our brain too much and we just can't focus on things that take a little bit longer time to do so yeah it's it really screws our brain over so I think like if you guys which some is something I haven't really actually do, I did a weak version of it, but it's basically dopamine detox. Like I've tried doing it here and there, but I didn't really commit to like a full day of no using my phone at all, things like that. I only did like a half day sort of ch- challenge whereby I go without phone, without any YouTube videos with zero social media for like the working day so like like nine to five kind of thing and then yeah so i think it will be quite beneficial for the majority of us to just try dopamine detox for half a day the best you can do just go full day and just see how how much better you can focus on your work on your craft so the next reason is you know basically you are entering the real world slash adulting life like how can you find it still interesting to play video games when you are you know you are really trying to do work for your uni you are really trying to do actual real life work you're trying to improve your life for real and you know as you guys know video games are not much that if you get good at video games how much further is that gonna bring you in a real actual life Unless you are an esports player or you are a content creator for video games, I think for most people, playing video games have no actual like interest in their real life. So which is why most men we feel competitive, right? We want to progress. Like progression is part of our primal instinct. Like we need to improve, we want better things. So as men, like it's kind of obvious that that we will, I think most of us naturally will turn away from video games when we reach a certain age where we want to progress our real actual life. So I think it's kind of a good thing, right, for male to be competitive. Like, what are you being competitive about when you're just playing a video game? Like, 
a single player video game like you what are you actually competing with there's nobody to actually compete with which is why i think i'm actually more sort of i got bored like you know playing video games because there is no competition you are just playing your own game and i also don't like playing like those more competitive games like dota csgo valorant things like that because those games are actually quite toxic if you think about it like after a hard day of work it just this is the last thing I want to do to go into a game of Dota and be like, oh yes. Like, no, like, you don't want to get yourself into those toxic environment. Like, yes, they're competitive, but I think you want to be competitive in those areas that you actually want to improve. I think I remember a little bit too much on that part, so I'll just move on. You know, video games can simply not be your calling, be your purpose in life. Like, for many people, Maybe some, for some uh, small group of men out there, video games is part of their purpose. They play esports at a high at the highest level. They go to big tournaments, competitions. Good for them. There's also big, uh, people that do like streaming, so, uh, content creation for video games. And yeah, that's their full-time job. That's their purpose to, to showcase all of these video games. That's good for them as well. But for most men out there, Video games are just not our main focus. Our main focus can be our real life work, our 9 to 5. Or our focus can be our on our side hustle that we want to create a business in the future. So yeah. There isn't really much. Like, I find, I mean, to me, it's okay to just let go of video games. Like, I know for me, I try to cope a lot like, oh, you know, I want to relax. I just want to have a nice two hour, three hour session of video games. Just let myself relax, man. And honestly, a lot of, maybe sometimes I can do it, but a lot of times I just can't really sit down and just play video games without feeling guilty or without feeling like I'm not doing anything with my life. So I think if you find yourself not being able to concentrate (laughs) <laughs> not being able to enjoy video games in general you know it's fine like you can totally do without video games if you want to and you know i think most of us what we can do is just start with dopamine detox first just go without social media for a while for a period of time and then in that period of time really think like what do you, what's your purpose in your life what do you actually want to do this is something that i want to do more often to really just Instead of watching social media, just sit down and talk to yourself for like one hour, two hours. And as you keep doing, I think your goals can be more clearer and clearer. And I hope most of you guys can find your purpose sooner or later. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.